hello uh, followers of my youtube channel welcome to today's uh, tutorial uh, on hru analysis using uh, qswat uh, module okay in the last time we have seen the first part of this um, qswat which is called um, watershed delineation and uh, we can have uh, some insight means some uh, special features uh, than that of the SWAT model and uh, today we will see the uh, second portions of uh, this uh, watershed I mean uh, the uh, creation of HRAs okay second step here is creating HRAs yeah therefore in order to um, do this uh, this is what we have uh, done last time and uh, okay we have uh, done those sections I think uh, uh, sorry okay so uh, last time we have uh, seen the first parts of this um, uh, he was what uh, modeling which is a, a delineation of watershed and today we will start uh, a new um, step which is creating HRUs which is create HRU analysis therefore in order to create these HRUs as you know that uh, for uh, creating HRUs we need uh, to have land with land cover map a soil map as well as uh, slope uh, classes we should have to uh, have those three uh, parameters in order to create HRE or a hydraulic response unit okay so the first thing here is you should have to upload the land with land cover map as you know from the SWAT model you should have to uh, prepare um, uh, a soil map with its lookup tables. Okay, so uh, we have we should have to prepare uh, the map as well as this um, uh, lookup tables. Yeah, for instance, if you see from the data, uh, okay, from the data for this one, we may have. Uh, the soil parameters here okay we have uh, the uh, land land is land cover here we may get from this one we will give this uh, parameter and the lookup table here is uh, in the form of CSV format yeah so we can have uh, for instance this one row with uh, land is uh, land cover lookup table Actually, we are working on Robit Watershed, which is uh, located on the Lake Anna Basin. Yeah, actually, the QSWAT model is exercised using this Robit um, uh, 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 Watershed. You see, so we have the land use as well as the SWAT uh, code. So we'll have these uh, lookup tables. So uh, using those uh, parameters, we can uh, uh, work uh, on uh, QSWAT. Okay, it's very simple. And similarly, for the case of uh, soil, we have the soil parameter as well. This one, and um, we have uh, a lookup table for the soil. Yes, lookup table for the soil and also uh, we have uh, uh, a soil parameter that is provided to that of uh, uh, the database for the soil database should have to prepare that one yeah so uh, for for instance if you see this user soil of robit uh, we have uh, this parameter so you should have to provide should have to pro provide 
this data I think you have uh, seen um, tut uh, my tutorials on how to prepare say types of information for the case of the soil yeah using uh, the soil template you can uh, you can prepare this one okay you may have uh, different parameters uh, like this one so uh, if you have this uh, let us uh, go back to the modeling session here and um, the first thing here is uh, select the land use map yeah uh, uh, click on this one in order to select the land use land cover map and uh, the land use land cover is located under this land use land cover uh, robit land use new and select this H uh, hdr dot adf similar to that of the digital elevation model what i have um, told you in the first tutorial say open so we have uh, i have uh, this one and uh, you should have to select the land use table here okay the land use table here is uh, i would like to use uh, a csv file okay csv file and um, uh, for the case of uh, this uh, soil map similarly go to this yes and uh, select the soil here similarly from this one soil here is uh, the soil uh, map say open okay and uh, uh, this on the uh, uh, soil table select the uh, UCSV uh, format here as a way okay in such a way we can we can uh, 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 we can read the land use land cover as well as the soil maps under this uh, soil data you use this user soil yeah and if you um, if you say in such a way and uh, if you uh, uh, make it read yeah now you have uh, an option to uh, select the lookup table for the land use land cover you see here choose land use land cover csv file so go to this uh, this one yeah this uh, sample data set and this Robit land is uh, land cover is a lookup table open and now i have uh, uh, uplo uploaded the lookup table for the land is land cover and now it is also choose soil lookup uh, csv file therefore you should have to select this one Robit the soil lookup table here okay but the one thing what i missed here is before selecting this uh, lookup table for the soil you should have to add uh, the soil user to the database okay that is why uh, this error message comes okay so let me adjust that one first uh, to do uh, to do this uh, go to this uh, e and uh, my folder here is qswat practical one you see and under this uh, QSWAT trial, I have uh, this QSWAT uh, refer to any uh, tool. So let me open this. Yeah. And under this, um, uh, here uh, there is user soil. Go to this user soil. User soil. Here is the user soil now. Yeah. This is this is a user soil, but I would like to add a new user soil uh, here. I would like to add a new user soil. Uh, or you can add one thing what you do here is you can add your user soil at the bottom of uh, this one or you can import your uh, user soils. Yeah. Therefore, in order to the, uh, to do that uh, first right click on this yeah uh, let me rename this one first let me rename 
user soil uh, let me rename as user uh, soil okay so I have to rename it first and I will re uh, uh, I will uh, uh, import the new one rename it as uh, user uh, soil one yeah let me uh, uh, use as it is and right click on this say import okay and um, in order to import uh, the parameters I hope um, there is Excel here I would like to import from Excel yes and the Excel here is uh, from where from des uh, desktop yeah there is IDSS uh, sweat and this one and there is user uh, soil robot you see here is a uh, uh, user soil robot uh, parameter and um, say ok here yeah you can uh, access the parameters under this one yeah you can uh, access uh, the uh, parameters here and say next okay the first row contains column and headings it says uh, and uh, uh, say next here you see here uh, we have file name as well as uh, uh, double and select okay no problem and under this section you should click on no primary key yeah no primary key if you see let access uh, it may uh, include this one so in order to remove this part you, you should have to click on no primary key and under this we have uh, uh, the uh, data starts from object id and the other parameters are important now next Therefore, the important table is user soil. Yeah, so uh, I would like to uh, like a user to analyze my table after importing the data it says, and you can uh, uh, click. Uh, uh, you can use as it is, or you can say finish. Yeah. Save import. Yeah, and I would like to save import. You see now, if you see here user soil, user soil, this soil is my soil what I imported from Excel from Excel and um, actually this user soil one is the soil what the uh, uh, the SWAT the Q SWAT have when it is designed now we have imported our soil and let us uh, close this one and come back to the uh, importing the uh, parameters you see the reason why this uh, uh, reads is that now we are adding we are adding uh, the robot land is lookup as well as the robot soil lookup so it is now ready uh, to create uh, HRAs ok therefore if you see here let me show you uh, this one okay let me hide the digital elevation model here you have now watershed boundary here we have this uh, the soil type here okay for instance and we have also the land use land cover type yeah we can now visualize our data in such a way we can visualize our data in such a way okay uh, one thing here is one thing we should have to uh, know here is uh, uh, adding uh, adding uh, about the uh, uh, slopes okay for instance uh, let me add uh, slopes okay so uh, after you have uh, provided those parameters, for instance, if you upload the land is land cover, 
and uh, the land is table is USCB we say SCB file you say SCB file and uh, similar to that of the soil and uh, click on this uh, soil data which is uh, user soil and uh, check on the generate full HRU shapes and before you are uh, checking on this read should have to give a setup uh, band for the, so, uh, the slope okay for instance uh, I would like to classify the slope into five classes from 0 to 5 for instance the first one and say enter and the uh, other is from 5 to 1 5 that means 15 let me use those three classes and click on this uh, read yeah I can now uh, say read okay on the lookup table here is the Robit land use and uh, the soil lookup here is this one now I can uh, get uh, HR use now okay and the uh, other thing here is in order to specify the number of uh, HRUs you should have to provide threshold value for the uh, land use soil as well as slope okay should have to provide now we have 83 HRUs sorry 83 HRUs and uh, you should have to uh, you should have to specify uh, dominant land use uh, soil this one uh, or by clicking this dominant HRUs, filter by land use, uh, land cover, soil and slope, filter by area, and automatically you can generate the number of HRUs. You see, set targets, a number of HRU from uh, 12 up to 82. We can select the number of HRUs and uh, we can specify it, as well as we can specify using area. Yeah. So for this case, let us filter using the land use, uh, soil, and the slope category. Let me give 10% for each uh, parameters in order to select, uh, I mean in order to specify the number of HRUs. So uh, after that, you can click on this. Uh, you can specify using, you see here, the threshold meter is percent, percent of the basins or area, as well as you can, uh, we are now using the percent of the basin uh, method in order to uh, specify the number of HRUs. So create these HRUs. Now, uh, for this case, uh, the number of HRUs may be uh, reduced, yeah? The number of HRUs may be uh, reduced you can see uh, the uh, HRU report here yeah we have uh, uh, this one this report as you know from uh, that of SWAT and also you can have elevation the land use and soil uh, uh, reports so uh, we can have an access to do this uh, HRU analysis on what in such a way so uh, it is enough for today and uh, for the next class we will see the second portions uh, which is about uh, about uh, edit inputs and uh, run a SWAT model okay so it is enough for today thank you for your time and uh, have a nice time